Hello everyone, this is Manish from Doemski and this session is on how to debug Android app on Chrome browser. We would be debugging JS for Microsoft Dynamics 365 FinOps and Operation mobile app. If we open finance and operation and enable the mobile mode that is uh, entering mode equal to mobile on the address bar and refreshing the page, we would be seeing a mobile app option here. So what we want, we have a JS in our expense management. If we go here, edit, and under the logic, we have our resource expense mobile JS. This is a JS we want to debug on the real time or on the browser. So action point would be, we would be installing Android debug.apk on our Android app. This is a Microsoft provided official app for debugging. Then we will enable USB debugging and developer mode in the Android device. And third, we will connect our Android device to PC using USB and will connect it on dev tool of Chrome browser. And fourth, we will add a breakpoint in the JS and we will also try CSS on real time using the element section. So this is the Microsoft official document or you can say official website where they have provided a sample fleet management developer sample. From here, we will download this Android debug.app onto our mobile. We have copied this APK onto our mobile device. And if I double click here, it will install it right now, but normally it will give you a prompt saying that enable the unknown source installation. So we can click there and there would be a checkbox to enable it. I will install this app. This is successfully installed and open. And you can see this is the official Microsoft Finance and Operation app and it is fully functional uh, as per the workspace we have set up on the Finance and Operations. Now our second step would be enabling the developer mode and uh, enabling the USB debugger. We will go to the setting of about phone, clicking on it and we have to tab five times on the build number. After pressing five times, it will ask me for the password. And you can see it says you are now a developer. Now we will go to the system. Under system, you will find the developer option here. It is uh, by default on as we have enabled it from the about phone section. But we will scroll down to see the USB debugging. It's off now. We have to enable this also. So now our developer mode is on. USB debugging is on. and we are ready to debug our application. Now third step is to connect our remote device that is our Android application with the Google Chrome inspect element, our dev tool. We will press F12. It gave us the dev tool here. We'll go to the element from there. We will select more tools and remote device. Here, uh, here you will find message saying that this panel has been deprecated in favor of Chrome inspect devices. So this particular panel has been disabled, but we have an option to go here and you will see it will bring up all the devices which are ready to inspect or debug. You can see our application Microsoft Dynamics 365 operation for mobile is ready for inspect. There would be another applications would we, we, which are connected with the Wi-Fi or with the USB. I will click on inspect and you can see same screen from my Android device is visible here. If I click on connect, the same action will happen on the browser itself. I will minimize my screen here and our device is remotely connected with the debugging dev tool of Google Chrome. Going to the source, you will find the resources on the left panel and it will keep on updating and you can see this resource page has been updated. If I go to the no domain, uh, you, you will find the JS of expense mobile here. You can start debugging by putting the breakpoints. I have added some breakpoint on the JS and if I go back and come back on this page, you will see it has got a hit on the breakpoint. So we can do the debugging on other JS available on the resource. Next is if I go to the element and on the real time, we can try the CSS like uh, on this particular group, we can add the background as red. And you can see on the app, we can see the CSS change on real time. So that's all for this video. Thank you.